There's ad tech consolidation, the latest from podnews.net with AdvertiseCast. Marketing data company Claritas has acquired ad tech service Arts AI. Claritas runs an identity graph which lets advertisers target consumers based on what else they do on their devices. Arts AI uses AI to optimize advertising delivery. Terms of the deal weren't given. Arts AI's CRO, Eric Lundberg, told us when you start thinking about the possibilities of merging our advanced AI personalization with their identity and data graph, it's really phenomenal. Well, we've a full interview with Eric Lundberg in the Podcast Business Journal this Friday. You can subscribe free at podcastbusinessjournal.com. Persephonica, the podcast producer that makes the news agents Dua Lipa at your service and the new political currency, has signed with talent agency WME. Their CEO, Dino Sophos, is speaking at Pod News Live in London on September the 27th. Tickets available now, podnews.net slash live. Podcast ad measurement company Magellan AI has added a tool to expand campaigns with similar shows, recommending podcasts that reach similar audiences to the ones that perform the best. SRDS, a media planning and buying service, has launched networks in its online podcast database. A new Australian podcast ranker has been released for August. SCA's Listener now has over 8 million monthly listeners and ARN's iHeart Podcast Network Australia is celebrating being the number one podcast publisher for 40 consecutive rankers. Danish podcast translation company Podster is to release a German language version of a Portuguese hit true crime podcast. They're working with Acast. And Lizzie Pollitt, Chief Communications and Brand Officer at Acast, is speaking at Pod News Live in London on September the 27th. Tickets available now, podnews.net slash live. Mercedes Benz has built a podcast studio van for ESPN College Football. Podcast One's share price closed at $2.74 yesterday. It debuted on Friday at $8. Sounder unveiled a partnership with women's humour brand Betches Media. The partnership will enable contextual and brand suitability targeting across the Betches Media network. AI Jingle Maker is a new service that enables you to create DJ drops, station IDs, podcast intros and other jingles. In just a few seconds, they say, podcast hosting company RSS.com has added enhanced collaboration for teams and updates to podcast pages. Evangelist Joe Casabona takes customers through the new features on a YouTube video we link to today. I'm an advisor. And remote recording tool Riverside has updated video captions to add configurable fonts and colors. In People News, Herb Scannell is to retire as CEO and president of Southern California Public Radio, which owns LA East Studios. And in podcast news, the world in brief from The Economist tells you what's on the global agenda in the coming day, what to look out for in business, finance and politics, and most importantly, what to make of it. It's part of the Airwave Podcast Network and we thank them for their support. The Audio Branding Podcast publishes its 200th episode today. It's a weekly podcast. The host, Jody Krangle, hasn't missed an episode since November 2019. Also mentioned the Anfield Rap, which has joined the Sports Social Podcast Network. Let Me Fix It, a new show about entertainment. Banking on Cultura, new this week. You Had Me at Hello, new from Sony Music Entertainment. And Dish, returning for a fourth season today, hosted by broadcast veteran and Nick Grimshaw and Michelin star chef and restaurateur Angela Hartnett OBE. The show's first guest this season is Gordon Ramsay. Good luck to everybody there. It launched in 2022 and is sponsored by Waitrose, a UK supermarket chain. And this podcast is sponsored by AdvertiseCast. AdvertiseCast connects thousands of podcasts with thousands of advertisers and has been matching podcasts with brands since 2016. Find your fit. Join AdvertiseCast, the premier podcasting network at advertisecast.com and that's the latest from our newsletter to read all the stories and subscribe we're at podnews.net